Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing great today and today is the day. It's finally happening. I've been brewing on this idea for way too long. A huge RC 3D printed boat printed with black PLA filament on the CR-10S. Just absolutely enormous. And I like the fact that it's not one of those toy boats, you know, it's, it's the real deal we are working with here. Here we have the hatch for it. Uh, there will be bearings inserted here to support the shaft. This is the rudder that will be connected to a servo that makes the boat go left and right. And lastly, we have these angled rudders that will make the boat go the motor, EC, receiver, transmitter, everything I stole from one of my old RC cars. This one to be more specific, this is the Bison RC car. It's a very big electric brushless motor, fairly high KV, 2600, and obviously the matching 120 amp EC, uh, waterproof for your protection. And all of this is going to be powered by these two batteries to make a four cell, six amp hour battery. So it's for the big boys. These batteries are the same ones that we used in my previous video for the RC car delivering candy for kids and I'm just gonna do a quick plug here and say that just a friendly reminder because I could see a lot of people didn't watch that video if you haven't seen the video with this RC car delivering candy for kids I highly recommend you go and watch it I, I think it turned out great and I think you will like it but as far as this RC boat goes what we have left to do is some kind of mount for the motor we have to install all these other parts, uh, some kind of holders for the batteries as well as the EEC, make sure everything is waterproof and uh, doesn't have too many leaks inside the boat itself. Yeah, just install all the electronics, make sure everything works and then we are ready to hit the waters. The rudder, the steering mechanism, the propeller, the motor, everything is in place. All we have to get in there is the electric speed controller and the receiver as well as the battery. Uh, but we are 90% done and I know it's unconventional not using water cooling for these kind of RC boats. But I have a heatsink. In fact, I have two if you count this one. I have a powerful 14 volt fan always blasting that motor with cool air and I'll make sure to have inlet and outlets on the hatch so we always have air pushed through the boat removing all that heat but i know it's a bold move okay so to give you a closer inspection we have a very locked in rudder by using this pretty overkill servo but something else i wanted to cover here was the support point in which this shaft going from the motor all the way back to the propeller is being supported so going from the motor all the way back to the propeller I have three supportive bearings one there one there and one there you could probably get away with just using two so I had this thing in my bathtub checking for leaks right and I found a couple that I fixed with epoxy it works really well uh, but now it was full of water inside so we've had some incredible weather here in Sweden lately like you wouldn't believe it so I put it outside in, outside in the sun for 10 minutes and it was enough to warp the PLA plastic in the front right here. Yeah, you can probably see it. So big recommendation coming, don't print this in black. Print it in, in white PLA or some lighter color. Not black, it absorbs too much heat. Three days later.
it is record high temperatures in Sweden right now and I'm not complaining, it's super nice. It's just, I see this end in one of three ways and it's, you know, number one is it floats and it just drives off in spectacular speed. Number two, it sinks. And, and number three is it melts. You know, that's a legit concern at this point. It has actually been quite a few days because I've had some major problems with, with keeping water from getting in and it's been a very interesting problem because it's not so much an obvious hole in the boat more than, more than an apparent problem with my 3D printing. So what happens is that I can place the boat in the water and see no immediate leakage but after a few minutes, you can kind of see how, how the water starts to filter its way through the PLA. It's a very interesting phenomenon happening. And even though the PLA seems fine, the, the water will, will kind of creep its way through the PLA and appear at random places. So what I have done is I've used epoxy to make it watertight. You can see a bunch of epoxy back here and on the other side as well, on the, on the belly of the boat, we have epoxy all over. So it's been a very challenging problem, but I think I have it all under control now. I've kept it in the water for 10 minutes with only minor leakage, so hopefully we won't see her sink today, though I'm not ruling that out either. I also added these constructional vital wood supports. They are literally holding the boat together. Starting off with a four cell battery because I don't have anything else. You can see the fan spins up, blows the right direction. <coughs> Motor works. Rudder works, kind of. Ah, that's good enough. Okay guys, let's do it. This is the huge 3D printed RC boat. Place your bets in the comments. Sink, split in two, melt, or success. At this point I had already acknowledged two problems actually. Clearly there is something bad with the signal between the receiver and transmitter that caused me to lose control over the boat and you would think this would be the worst thing to happen. But I also noticed how when using a very minimal amount of throttle the boat would punch and accelerate very rapidly indicating that there is huge power potential and you can kind of see this in one of the clips. As I increased throttle, the speed would stay relatively the same and you could hear the motor starting to choke as the propeller raised above the surface of the water, pushing air instead of water and so not pushing the boat forward. And if you listen carefully, you can hear this on the onboard video. I got the boat back to shore and I replaced the receiver and transmitter with a different system that I luckily brought with me. I crammed in a second battery in the boat to hopefully counteract the propeller surfacing and uh, this is how it went. <laughs> There's just been one too many problems with this project. The lack of constructional rigidity within the boat, the leakage, the, the propeller situation. Is it too light, too heavy? The glue clearly didn't stick too well to PLA. It's just been overwhelming to know what problem to fix first. That's just how some projects end. It just can't be a full on Bitcoin success every single time. I will make a RC 3D printed boat version two for sure. I just didn't want to keep you guys hanging for that long without the video. So that's why I'm uploading this video, but I did bring out my other RC boat, got some sick footage that I want to show you. Uh, but before that, I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you found it at least entertaining and uh, give a like if you liked it. Have an awesome day. Bye.